There you go. And we are at 17 saves. Here we go. Let me see. I could never get the crossbow. We have the oil fix, we have the red sapphire key. What else do we have? We have a bunch of healings, some healies, and a lighter. Okay. Um, anything in the box? Do we have the evil medallion and the angel medallion? But I could not put them on the main door, I believe. So I'm gonna retreat this. Gonna leave this for now. Mm. So I look at one hint to know where to go from here. Because I missed this last time I played the game. And once I get past the part I'm stuck now, then I am completely blind. So the only thing I know that I have to do now is that I have to put... Because uh, I explore everything and I didn't know where to go, but here on the left there is a red door that I can open apparently so we're gonna go there how do we go there? that's a good question <laughs> um, let me think through the garden through the garden Okay. so let's go there let me see if I remember aim flashlights I think we're good. Let's go. Like I said, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played in uh, almost two weeks. So there's a door here that is very tricky, kind of. Because from what I saw... Wait, did I get the... The, the light, lions? Lions? Do I need to get this? I'm not sure. Alright, so where do we go? All the way over there. Okay, so to that gate. Okay. So it's very tricky because you have to see uh, something to put an, an object next to the door, and I didn't see it, basically. I didn't see that. And you have to see this thing over here. Like that. It's so hard to see. And I think you have to put one of these two. I don't know which one is it. Like that one. So I didn't see that thing next to the door. Usually doors are like, you, you either use a key or it's locked. But to put an object next to the door. Wait, is this the first time we're here? Oh shit, is this the, the gatekeeper? Sounds very scary. What is that? Triple bandage. Let's go. I'm gonna get that, but I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drop this too, I guess. I will keep it until I have. I need this inventory space. But uh, before I keep going, let's break these barrels. How do you reload? Okay. Aim and then... What is the button? X? On Xbox? Square on PlayStation. Alright, so we've got extra ammo. Let's go. Where am I? I'm on, on the core jar, but I'm on the top, top left side. I don't think I've ever been here. Have I? More ammo. Is there an enemy in there? No. No. An old ground phone. It looks like it needs a uh, record. So there's a record here. We're gonna drop it. I'm not gonna save. Shotgun ammo. We got a lot of shotgun ammo. Oh, and that's it. So this is this little greenhouse. To save. Look at the camera move. Huh? 
more ammo. They're giving us so much pistol ammo. Is there anything on the statues? I don't know. So we got the red... Oh, oh that's a tree. I thought that was a pond. We got the red key. So we can open the red door. If... There you go. If we reach this part again. Is there going to be new enemies? New enemies respawn or something? Okay, where was the red door? It was next to the fountain, I believe. I haven't played in, in some time, but I... Oh, oh shit. That, that... Oh my goodness. They're gonna kill him. He throws things now. He's a WWE -W 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 fighter. Oh, it's the grave. It's okay. I'm on caution though. Holy. I'm not sure if I hit him, but I'm trying to get. Oh my goodness. What? He's a chain. It's Nemesis now. Oh. Yo! He got new moves. No. Oh, shit. What a shit to heal. Do we get him? Yo! Fucking die, mate. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm in caution, boys. It's like the shotgun takes so much time to move. I'm in danger. Oh, shit. Maybe I need to shoot with the pistol because the pistol is more. You kite better. It's like, shoot, move, shoot, move. But the shotgun is like. Shoot, uh, and it takes has so much recoil. I think this is my second death in the whole game. I think I think I died at the very beginning of chapter one. <laughs> now I died again. Very rusty. Well, before I went from caution to caution, she's already facing me. Last time it took him longer to get to me. Wow. Where is he now? Oh no, I didn't get stuck right there. I need to heal. I need to go this way so it doesn't trap me. Yeah. This guy is so tanky. No, please. Okay, it went down once. I think it's like Nemesis. I have to get him down twice. Nice, we stagger him there. Let me try the pistol. Mm. I'm trying to bait an attack. Ah, pistol is not worth it. I'm on caution again. 
Can I kill him? Oh, that was very close. Maybe in this section... You can't even kill him, you just have to run from him. Oh, I got him. Defeat the gatekeeper in his third form. Oh, and we have the sapphire key. So I'm actually gonna go first to the purple one because it seems more optional. Unless you had to kill this guy. And it's also look like on the map it looks like it's a like closed area. It doesn't lead anywhere, so I will just go here, get whatever is here. And move on. We haven't heard about Paul in a while. The story is not developing too much, to be honest. The master and everything. Okay. So there's a little circle here. We still need to do those. Wait, what are those? Bolts my I never got the crossbow man, so I feel like I'm missing so much. A big Healy, that's very good. Record. Oh, it's a machine gun. Submachine gun. Is it gonna take two two inventory slots? Oh, one hundred percent. This is so this is so Resident Evil. Okay, we have a lot of. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on the ground. No, I'm gonna actually leave the pistol and the ammo, and I'll use this for now. It's very good. Okay, and this leads to the other door behind the courtyard. Oh, I remember this. This shotgun. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I don't wanna fight that guy. I don't have to, right? Oh, but this is open though. He's gonna follow me. Is he gonna follow me all the way? He, 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 he surely is. He's still coming. I'm gonna have to kill him. Wow. How much water do I have? I have 80%. Ooh. We already used 10%. Uh, the machine gun doesn't have many bullets. But it's really powerful. Wow. I'll just use 100% of it and just go back to the pistol. I will have an easy time from now until we run out of ammo. Right, there's dogs here. Right, red gate. So we open all the gates in the courtyard. Nice. Let's uh, explore around here. We still need two more medallions, I believe. Or maybe one more medallion. Okay. What is that goo? He stole ammo. Ten bullets. I just pick it. I just pick it up and drop it. So look at these camera angles. So I can retrieve it later on from the box of Bluetooth. 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 Hello. The rope. This was for the chandelier. I kind of. I kind of forgot the the puzzles, guys. But I remember there was a hole that we broke with the chandelier and we needed, we needed, we needed a rope. So we got that. We got some thumbos. Wait. I just returned. Oh, wait, 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 let me go back here. Hello? This gun is really powerful. 70%, though. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, 
can blast them, mate. What is this? A chest? The chest is locked. Do we have any keys? A chest. Hmm. Okay, is there anything here? We got the rope. Okay, let's go back to the chandelier in that case. The main door is open, so we have to go around from where we came from. We also have the oil. But I don't know what the oil is for. And this says uh, nautical rope. Thick and strong, it could probably hold my weight easily. So I'm guessing I only need that. I'm not sure where I'm gonna do the... I'm gonna tie it, but... I got a rope here! Okay, so we cannot enter through there. Okay. Uh, I should save now, probably. That was decent progress, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Hoping I don't die. Still have my heal, I'm full HP. I should be okay. Okay, Chandelier was on the bottom. Um, what is the Chandelier room? Which one is it? That one. Oh, I could go from here? If I go here? No, but this room was the other one. This room was the one with the statues, wasn't it? Yeah. So where is the chandelier room? This one maybe? No, this one is not either. This one is the piano. Is a reference to Silent Hill with the ball of piano? I don't know. Um, what is the chandelier room? Oh, 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 it's that one, it's that one, it's that one. So we can go through here. Wait, is it that one? I don't know anymore. Is there any zombies here? Could be this room over here? I, I don't remember the layout very well. It is this one, okay. So how do I... Uh, I have a rope, use the rope. What is that thing? Oh, you just put it there. What is that thing down there? We'll use the rope to go down, yes. I don't know where we're going. Catacombs. Oh, this is the room we could not enter the last time we were in the catacombs. I've got that prisoner note. It's been five, maybe six days down here. I want to die already. I don't know what I did to incur Lol Alfred's wrath, but all the same, me and five other initiates were locked up. After the screams I've heard, I'm starting to think facing the punishment in the swamp will be a better fate. I don't know what he's doing. I can only see through the slot in my door that every time I see the master, he has some kind of a glass bottle with him, which he carries with the utmost carefulness, as if it were a newborn child. He disappears into their cells, and I hear otherworldly sounds, always punctuated by that terrible scream. Last night he went into Jessica's cell, directly across from mine. For a moment, I caught a look through the slot in his door. My eyes might deceive me, Jessica. She she changed somehow. It all happened so fast. There was a splashing of water, a struggle. By the end of it, I'll see this brilliant blue light that the monsters appear to pick up. I shudder to think it was Jessica's very essence, the soul itself. 
He didn't just pick it up though, he absorbed it. Inherited. I'm the last one left. All the others gone. My god, help me, somebody. So okay, so we read about this sacrificial ritual to become like uh, someone's slave or yeah. So I guess it I guess the master is like obligate him to do that or taking some oh we got the the light medallion very good very good okay so we need to take the elevator now so you have to take a right there's still one cro closed door there the red door there hmm, i don't know how to reach that though and there was an enemy here there was an enemy here so we need to be careful See her around this corner, I believe. I can't, I can't refill the water. Yes. Oh, there it is. Dukes! Ouch. Okay, I hope the elevator is working. What is that noise? Oh shit! There's a fucking guy with a chainsaw! Yo, what the fuck, man? Yo, what the hell? I was like, what is that noise? Yo! He can sprint. He's sprinting. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm just running. Oh my. Oh, that was close. No. Oh. Bro. You fucking die, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 100%. Oh, the fucking camera. Can I kill this guy? Bro, he's tanky as fuck. He's still alive. Oh. Well, there, there, there goes my machine gun. Oh, we needed to kill him to retrieve this again. Well, 0%, literally. <laughs> bye bye, machine gun. I'll leave it here. Maybe I get more ammo from it later. Oh, we got the light medallion. Okay, so we have. Okay, but I have a question. How do I bring the the angel medallion if he's stuck on the door, you know? Yo, that enemy was so strong. That enemy was strong. Was it stronger than the gatekeeper? Kind of. Chainsaw guy. Scary. Okay, so we need... We need... Yeah, let's think. We got that medallion. Okay. <laughs> there is still that, that room that we cannot access on the bottom left. But it needed like a special key. I forgot the name of it, but it was a key that we don't have yet. And my other, and my other question is... How do I go back to the cemetery to put all the medallions? Wait, there's another there's another greenhouse here. Where the gatekeeper came from. Yeah, this one. I never came here. Oh. Gatekeeper notes. Who is the gatekeeper note one? All of the initiates, including myself, are slowly getting used to things on the island. As we study under the order of the master, Lord Alfred, we begin to understand the true nature of his power. Jed, there is one thing that I don't understand. There is a being on this island. I don't know whether to call him a man or not. But he's quite an imposing figure. He does not speak. He moves as if possessed. 
and his huge hulking mass seems to be immune to any of all administra administration and attacks. He lurks around the graveyard, which the master tells us where we are forbidden to enter. Because of this, we have given him the name Gatekeeper because of his habits of standing sentry by the cemetery gates. When we inquire about his purpose here, Lol Airfred's only told us to keep our distance from him and to respect his presence on the island. Perhaps the Gatekeeper is a result of the change? Ah. Interesting. Bro. That lives scare me. Oh, man. Nice. How much? 20%? See the box. It looks like it can be broken. Well, I have a pistol, so... So there is the shotgun for it. Okay. Well, I hope breaking that box is not uh, crucial for the progress. Let me check back here really quick. I think nothing, nothing should be different, but you never know. I regret my decisions. Yeah, we need to retrieve the pistol sooner or later. So I get yeah, we need to be careful with those blood stains because they make those enemies spawn. But if you run past by them, you try to uh, dodge them, you don't have any trouble, so I should pay more attention to that. Just double checking everything, basically. No, but that... Okay, we cannot not go through there because there's a fence. So we have to go through the middle. Is the middle open? I do not remember. Like, can I go through here? It is open, okay. Okay, so this goes to... We're still pretty far. We are on the ruins area. I could go and put the three I have now, I guess. To get some inventory space. Yeah. Maybe it's already put there. Maybe I already put it there. I already took it and I put it there, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of remember something, doing something like that. Did I? Maybe I took it and I came here and I already placed it. The angels. So we put the angel here. Uh, evil. So we put this one here. Evil medallion. Darkness. Only light can do that. So we need to put the light one there. I think I already put it. It's there. Like there. Yeah, yeah, it's already placed. Okay, okay, I forgot about that. So we only needed three. Alright, so we should be able, able to open this. So this is open now. I completely forgot I already placed that medallion there. My bad. Okay, so. Here we go. I have this shotgun equipped. Whoa. notes and another trapdoor maybe this is the secondary tunnels gatekeeper's journal entry to my time spent on this island grows into a blur as the master and that bastard child of his steadily sub subsumes my will with theirs 
To Sir Lol Alfred is my will, my destiny, but a part of me still strives for autonomy. I remember how things were at the mansion before she ca before he came. To even write this last physically pains me to do so, which is why I shall continue to document my journey until it becomes impossible for me to put pen to paper, until I become one of his puppets, under complete control. As I patrol the grounds, keeping an eye on initiates and deciding which ones will meet my swamp song, which one shall meet their her heretical fate? He grows hungry. I can sense it. Is this the gatekeeper journal before he completely turned into uh, a slave? It's very interesting. So he had a son on the swamp. Very Jason like. <laughs> Friday 13 coming soon. Okay, let's see. What's in here? A signet ring. And another trapdoor. Oh, these are the secondary tunnels for sure. We've never been here. Do you unlock? Catacomb Cemetery Forest. So we came from one. It's clear. This place. that ammo for nothing. Okay. I don't have my knife, so... Walking camera, man. Die. <laughs> Anyone else? So what is this ring for? The insignia on this ring looks like a family crest. I wonder if it has anything to do with siblings among the cult. Hmm. Oh. This is a... That house. So that's the dark forest. It would be very nice if I could get the crossbow. But I don't know the code. And I'm not going to look it up. This is not fair. But I hope I can handle it with my... With the ammo I have. And where, where does this, this one go? this trapdoor. I, I don't want to be anywhere here, right? The cool thing is I can make it back to the mansion very quick. That's cool. Well, what is this? What is this ring for? I, I feel like this game leaves open too many doors, too many options, and it can be very confusing. That is not a very good thing. I feel like I already killed all the enemies in this area. Um, so I will not have any troubles. Unless they respawn the of these new types. Because sometimes when you clear an area and then burst the game a little bit. When you come back. You... Some enemies respawn and stuff like that. But this was not too long ago, so I hope not. 
<laughs> yeah, so um wait, camera please. Not here, this way. And here there's a door. Uh would you say that's for the ring? Something smaller and circular can place here. Okay, if you say so. It closed. The chosen one must complete the Odyssey before this path will be unlocked. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that thing? Did I kill it? It doesn't seem too tanky, so I'm gonna try to kill with the crystal. So this is like a challenge. I'm gonna go slow. Where are those monsters, man? These are normal zombies, so we should not have any trouble. Boom! Head pop. Nice. But we left something behind. Let me go back. There was a different path. Back this way and then straight. Yeah, this way. Oh, no. Is it barrel? Oh, they broke. They broke the barrel for me. I don't want to kill these guys. That was useless. I don't. <clears throat> I don't have any. I don't have the crossbow, and I wish. How is it so hard to get the crossbow when they give you so much help for it? And then they ask you for a code, and the code is not easy to get. Whatever. I hope it's not necessary. The big boy. Is that Paul? Oh, that's a thought, me. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave this now for sure. Got him. Where am I going? We're in the swamp. This store shows blue. What does blue mean? Is that a boat? <gasps> I wonder if I can use that to get out of here. There has to be some way to get to that damn boat. That's where I arrive, right? That's how they bring me here. Alright, the one moves. I had 60 a moment ago. I'm not, I'm at 10. Walking. Okay. leave items here or notes gatekeeper notes who's the gatekeeper note for despite my best efforts and stealth 
I was caught stalking the gatekeeper once again last time. This time it was escorting one of the elder circle back from the swamp lands south of the mansion. I tried to get it in front uh, I tried to get in for a closer look. Is it appear he was carrying a woman over his shoulder? An outsider? Another possible initiate? Maybe that was Alicia. I don't know, but my curiosity has gotten me in trouble. I have been ordered locked uh, I have been ordered locked in my room until far further notice, with meals and water being brought in by one of the older cult members. I wonder if they know about the ruins and the door underground. Some of them have told me that the master has planned to take me out of to the swamp to make an example of those who do not listen to his instruction. I've heard stories about the swamp. About how every time we get one of those tremors or earth uh, or the earth shakes, it is because of the great god that lives in the bottom of the bog out there. I thought that was just a myth, something to keep the older cult initiates from wandering too far from the mansion. With the ceremony so close, I hope they only mean to scare me. I have learned my lesson, Master. Truly, I have. Okay. Is that the gatekeeper shack? Um, so, where do I go now? Let's check back here. What the fuck is that thing, man? They're like giant frogs. Nothing else here? Come on, bro. They're like crouching. I think I think I saw another one somewhere. Where am I going? Where did I came from? Oh, that's that's a monster, right? Got him? One shot. Let's go. So I came through here. Correct. I came through here. Let's check this door. It's locked. Locked. Doesn't say anything else. Hmm, so I wonder what Fireflies scare me. Officer. Please get me out. Please drop some ammo for me. Oh my goodness. Kind of trigger about them giving me crossbow ammo all the time. There is a portal. I heard another zombie. There he is. Oh, there is one monster here. Boom. I'm literally running out of ammo because I don't have the crossword. Cool. Maybe I need to go back to my knife. Like, look at this. Or maybe I should. I, I shouldn't just not kill the zombies. I don't freaking know, man. What's over here? Another zombie. Anything behind the house? Nope. Ah, man, I'm literally running out of ammo. I'm not sure what to do. I have like 200 bolts, literally. But if they freaking key lock you behind the crossbow without knowing the code, that's that's bullshit. That's bullshit, bro. 
I guess I'm getting the nine. Okay, let's go back to conservative gameplay. <laughs> I'll switch the pistol ammo for the knife. And I will leave one heal. Even though I'm actually low HP, I'm just gonna use this one. Yeah, yeah whatever, fuck it. I don't have many heals though. Okay. Knife time. Let's see if I'm not too rusty to do knife fighting again. This knife is very tricky in this game. But I need to conserve ammo. Must be close to that. Also oh, close. Nice. Full full knife. Will that save you around ten bullets or something, I'll say. Oh no. There's shotgun ammo there. Strange device, a strange device that looks sort of like an air pumping machine. Fog machine note. If anyone's looking for me, I'll be out at the island again. The damn generator keeps breaking down, and without it, the most screen device that the monster has enchanted to cloak us will shut down. He wants to make sure everything is running smoothly for tonight's big event. I can hardly see what I'm doing out there with the fog being so thick, so I may be gone uh, a while. If I'm not back before the ceremonial bell starts ringing, someone come find me. It, will, it wouldn't be my first time getting lost in the mist, Edward. Okay. <laughs> Edward lost his head, I guess. Anything here? I should check everything. There's no turning back after this. Oh. Very warning, eh? The cabin key. The cabin key. Hmm. What cabin, though? <laughs> oh, it's for this uh, house here. And she said there's no turning back from here. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna save then. So we are close to the end, or I'm not sure. And I will leave the egg kit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna get rid of the cabin key, so we're gonna have two extra slots. Here we go. But the knife is always this is always good to have. All right to the cabin. To the cabin. Saving. Oh shit. Oh, do you again, man. Oh, she's running. Enter the abandoned cabin. What? Am I safe? The lantern, I have seen it somewhere before. Sh true. Is that from Paul? Maybe Paul was living here. Maybe Paul is the master. <gasps> Betrayal. A trapdoor. 
Or we can go upstairs. Hey, little girl, are you all right? Wait a minute. That scar. Oh my god. Are you my daughter? Emily. Emily. Is that you? You need to leave now. It's a trap. No! I'm not leaving you again, baby. I'm gonna get you out of there, I promise. Oh, shit. Okay. I cannot deal with this. It's a trap. I had to find a key for the cage fast. Yo, what the fuck? I have a minute? Uh, what? Shit, what if it was down the trap door? Um, what? Oh, what the hell? That was so lucky. Why are you spamming all the buttons? Hey, get the fuck out! Get the Emily and get to the basement! Go back, wake up. This is all on a hallucination. We are this bitch. Resident Evil 4 cabin completed. And right, we're going to the boat. Oh, they're coming for me. Is this the end game? I thought it was a lot farther from the two, two or three years again. Maybe this is like a. There's still more after this. I have no idea. What was that like? Emily wasn't there anymore? I know you're around here somewhere, Adrian. I know to know what happened. What the hell happened to me? What? So we're playing as Paul now. We remember we played a little bit of his section on this uh, detective office. And we got uh, this stuff. Silver file. I'll come and remember. There we go. So now we're playing as. Paul, I was gonna say that was a bit weird of an ending. Welcome to Alfred Town. So this was some time ago before this whole cold and everything. It's not before it, but like when they were starting. I don't have a map. But I'm gonna guess this far is pretty straightforward. I have guns, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight something. Interesting. Look at this. It's like the, the mansion building, but it has stuff built around. It's like a town. Okay. Oh, shit. Intruder. Playing mercenaries now? What the fuck is this? Oh shit. There are dogs. Got him. Yo, how many thumbs are you? Hello? Uh, I'm just gonna run. I don't think I can kill them all, so. Where do I go, though? I hope I don't get trapped. Into a dead end or something. I literally have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> but I'm getting a lot of... Oh, this is blocked. This is blocked. We have to go back, and there's gonna be a shitload of zombies blocking my way. On my way back now. Jeez. Oh, go before they block me. Oh, it's too late. Oh, 
Oh. I made it back, I made it back. Let's go this way. This is more like an action section with pole. I still have no idea where to go. Did he explain who Adrian was? Was it his son or something? I cannot enter that. I'm getting a lot of ammo. Holy. What's up, boys? Where do I go? Uh, this way maybe? If I keep finding new items, that, that means I haven't been here, right? So... <laughs> no, this is where I came from. Isn't it? I don't know, but I'm finding a shit lot of ammo. I don't have a map, so... I'm gonna live tonight, fuck it. I may regret that, but... Bro, I have 92 bullets. Am I gonna need more than 92 bullets? An hour later. Shit, I wish I had my knife. <laughs> There's still more items there. Right, so, wait, wait, wait. I don't think I went this way. This is locked. We drop our knife. I hope I don't miss it. So many items though. I'm getting every bullet in this area. More heals. Maybe I need to kill all the thumbs actually. Hmm. Okay. Could I do that? Yes. Oh god. Oh, what the hell? Two dogs. Oh shit! Oh shit, 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 Yo, calm down, man. Yo, 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 yo. Holy. Holy, how many enemies are here? Hello?
No. Oh, shit. Got him. Whew, this is stressful. Like I said, I'm not sure if I had to kill everyone or what. Oh no. Oh, maybe it was time based. That door opened. I don't know where that door is. I think that's the first time I went there and I was locked on the side to check it. I just don't know how to get there. Join us. Like hell I will. <laughs> There's another chainsaw guy coming. I think he's here, but to the right side. This way. No. Is that it? Hot lock key. Hot lock key. Fucking dogs, man. <sighs> what? I have one heal left. I think there was another med kit, but I didn't take it. Oh, let's go. That's big. Six of these bullets. That that that, 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 that gun is very powerful. I'm just gonna kill everyone. Honestly, I should run away. Padlock key. I think it's here to the right. I'm just checking all the doors. Maybe it's here. This way, this way, this way, this way, yeah, yeah. No, mm, maybe not. But it's good that I'm coming here to take this. Yeah. Nice. So where is that freaking place? Before the thumbs come. Forest, maybe it's this way. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this way, this way. Oh, there's a med kit here too. Great. He came through here. This door. No? Maybe it's a double gate. Maybe it's a double gate. 
that I have to unlock with the padlock key. But I'm glad I came here. Look at my inventory now. I have three heals. I'll use this one. Okay. There is a sign. Yeah, it has to be the double door for sure. Bombs are coming. They're gonna block my way. I don't think I got... Yeah. Uh, Let me try to juke them over here. There's a big boy that's gonna puke on me. Alright, Joel. Oh, the jukes. Alright, I need to find this shit now. Like, now. What was that double door? There's a sign there. It says forest and town. So I'm guessing I have to go to the town. This way? Let me check this door. It's not that one either. Um, nothing here. Come on, man. What was a double door? It's not this one either. Hmm. I only saw it once. Farm. Let me go this way. Maybe it's here? Oh, maybe it's this one. Yeah. Nice. We are out. Woo! What? There is no exit here, though. There's a note. Survival note. He sits upon a throne of lies. His whole existence is based on deceit and manipulation. If you find this note, then that means you too have succumbed to his false prophecy as well. The master has been around since the dawn of man. That much is true. Everything else that change, the great seed change that will make men immortal to make men gods is all smoke and mirrors. His true goal is chaos, apocalypse. As I write this, I'm one of the few survivors of his last ceremony, where I watch hundreds of my so-called brothers and sisters, initiates of the change, transform into awful ravenous creatures. At first we were also enamored with his presence, with his promises, that we ignore the obvious red flags. He came to us in our dreams, summoned us like a divine spirit. His strict orders for all of us to have zero communication with the outside world should have been a warning sign. And there is that hulking shell of a man they call the gatekeeper, that poor soul who even after his sons were murdered by the master's hand, saw alliance, alliance to that damned con artist in exchange for immortality. Robbed of his own property, surrendering his mansion to the master, he truly has nothing left to lose. He's a walking testament to the master's ruthlessness. If you are reading this, you must run. All the death and suffering waits for you in his company. Nice. So the original owner of the mansion was the gatekeeper. Interesting. Evil is here. Nice. Are we going back to Alicia or we stay with Paul? Oh, so we're back to Alicia. We took the boat and left. Alicia's memory 10. Let's see. Oh my god, Emily. At least. I thought it was Emily. That gatekeeper bastard chased me into this cabin on the outskirts of the swamp. And that's where I found her. She was in a cage, trying to tell me something. She looked so different, so much older. But I know my daughter, regardless of the drags and the trauma that I have corrupted my memories. You cannot break that maternal bond. I thought I would finally find my baby girl. But then she was she just disappeared, and I was ambushed by more of those goddamn monsters. I don't know how much more of this I can take. 
I've seen so many insane things since I've been here. Portals, monsters, alternate worlds. I had to be going crazy, right? But what about Paul? He seems to be the only normal thing in this whole place. Unless he's just an he is just a hallucination too. How the hell is this all going to end? Hmm. I don't have a map. I wonder where we are. Ooh, there's cultists there. Or followers. They're looking for me. I need to get out of here fast. Oh, this is where we met Paul. Uh, I need to put... I don't have the green chalice, because I think I gave it to Paul. <gasps> so should I go this way or this way? Hmm. So we're back to the ruins. But these are different ones. I don't think we have everything here. A lot of blood. A heal. What is she? What? Is the heaviest. According to this map, stay away, Skull Island, Fog Island, Swamp Lord, Escape on the west. No, on the east. Wait, so the east is on the west. Okay. US Treasury. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard, September 13th. I arrived this under great duress as the cult had begun to turn hostile towards me. One night, two of the members of the cult, higher up members of the Elder Circle, burst into my room, rifling through my things and demanding they see my manuscripts and research. When they discovered my translation tool, they became quite livid and tried to apprehend me. A struggle ensued, ensued? in which the cultists mildly dragged from their awful brew, tried to bite and scratch at me. I managed to escape through a hidden exit that I was constructed behind one of the library bookcases. Fortunate enough to have my backpack in my hand as I ran through this estate, and the inebriated cultists were unable to keep up with their shambling movements. I behind it out on the edge of the estate, finding a small cove near the shore to take shelter in. It is here that one can't really get a sense of the fog that enshrouds this place, yet even through the mist. I think I can see an island off on the distance, or perhaps a lighthouse of some kind. I've tried to escape by swimming out, but as soon as my feet touch the water, I become violently ill, as if some invisible barrier is forcing me to stay here on this wretched land. Wow. Interesting. Thank you for your effort, Dr. Arnold. Without him? We'll, we will have not gotten this far. Okay. So, I just wonder if this whole thing is an hallucination, is it really happening, Alicia is tripping. I don't know, man. Okay, some pistol ammo. A police helicopter, hello? Oh, this is Paul's. This is how Paul came, right? This must be the helicopter that Paul talked about. Yeah, yeah. There's a handle transceiver inside. Do you want to use it? Give me a second. Should we call for him? Like, Paul, I'm here. Let's leave. Let's use it. Okay. Yeah. 
Hello? Paul? Is that you? Alicia? Yeah, it's me. I suppose you found the helicopter. What's going on? Paul, I think I'm ready to leave the island. I've looked everywhere for Emily. I can't find her. And the cultists... They're closing in on me. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Well, what happens if we come back empty-handed? Oh, what the fuck? Please, Paul, just hurry. They're coming. Okay, okay, just sit tight. I'll be there ASAP. Well, we didn't find anything. Not, not Emily, no husband, no Adrian, nothing. Do I need to kill this? I may die here. I don't have enough shit to kill those guys for sure. Oh, they have. There's no axes. Well, they're gonna die, guys. I wish I had my explosive bolts now. Let me try to kill a big boy first. What the hell, man? I don't have anointment on me. Such a waste. I'm gonna die. Wait, what is this? Oh, yes. Oh. Maybe I have enough. That's not too bad. Oh, are we living? Maybe I get the bad ending for not finding out anything. What is happening? Oh. Oh. I wonder if something different can happen there and it determines the end you get. At least we are alive. But we didn't find Emily. I wonder if this bad ending, the neutral ending, the good ending, I don't know. I don't know sure if, it, if this is even the ending. I thought too much Resident Evil to know when a helicopter comes, it's the end. Finish the story in fixed camera mode. Nice. I thought it was gonna take me longer. I thought it was I had like three hours left or something, but it was like a couple of hours left. Oh, that's good. Um I, I hope there's a after credit scene explaining a little bit more. Because there's so much left in the air. We never got to see the master. We don't know anything about Alicia or anything about her. What happened with Emily? What happened? Was it was this real? Was she a little bit crazy? I have no idea. Um, this game has so many good things. and At the same time, I think it has a lot of bad design decisions. Uh, the best things about this game, I think, is the atmosphere, the environments when you are exploring, the background music and the... Everything is it it spooky, it's scary. Uh, I also think the... For the most part, the puzzles are cool, the areas are cool, variety, enemy variety, that's cool too. A few boss fights, mini boss, more like it. Mm. The soundtrack is okay, sound and that sound design is okay. Yeah, it's like a, a Resident Evil Inspire game, you can tell. <laughs> Everything is screaming Resident Evil here. Uh, especially the first one. The first one remake, I would say. But a lot more expanded. You have a lot more areas for sure. Uh, but the thing I didn't like about this game is. I feel there's a missed opportunity on like shock battle, like moment to moment action and like feeling 
a tight experience. It's like everything feels kind of uh, disconnected and disjointed. Oh. We got the uh, ending very bad 5 out of 5. We got the worst ending. 12 hours, 19 saves. Rank E. Well, uh, if you guys want to see, I'm going to, on my own, I'm going to check the other endings and see how they are. And you guys can do that too on your own. Epilogue. Oh, the swatches. It's just a text. <laughs> After a heroin effort to find her daughter, confront this mysterious master, and provide Paul with the answer he needed to convince him she was innocent, they both leave the island empty handed, with Paul realizing what it was he had to do. Unable to find any evidence corroborating Alicia's claims or figure out what happened to his long-lost partner, Adrian Bennett, Paul has no choice but tur to turn Alicia in, where she was sent into the prison and two weeks later commit suicide by hanging herself with herself walls just when a series of unexplainable natural disasters began to throw the war into chaos. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. So, Paul... Paul, after seeing... Everything that happened on the island, she still blames Alicia and she killed herself. What the fuck, man? <laughs> That's fucked up. What? Cleared. Extra content. Epilogue files. Halloween night. Uh, I guess there's like more stuff, but that's the main game. That's what I want. Um, I was saying on the review, this game lacks like the tight crafted experience. It's like you're walking down some way and there's like a few zombies, blah blah blah, you kill them. It's like it doesn't have like that horror element to it. Either. Sometimes some enemies are scary because they are intimidating and you know they're strong. But I don't know. I feel the experience is a little bit disconnected or the gameplay. That's my opinion. And I also think some of the puzzles are optional and it you have so many areas at the same time with so many different puzzles at once and some of them being optional that you get so confused all over the place like oh my god I need to so sometimes I got lost and it was very confusing and that takes away because it's frustrating I think it's very frustrating and some puzzles are not intuitive at all, like serious intuitive. And there's so many of them that are like, oh, we have to go there, but then you have to go back, and then you have to return again to trigger something. And it's like, that is not intuitive. This like puzzles are has have to be a good obstacle for the player to overcome, but it has to be a fair obstacle. It cannot be like something like oh, very too hard to figure out or too illogical. Uh, the game for the most part is polished, but there's some clunkiness here and there, but I get it, it's fine. It's like more of an indie game, so I'll give it a pass there. Hmm. But yeah, like, I was really considering this game. On the first half of the game, the first half of the game, I was considering giving this game like a 7 or even an 8. I was really enjoying it. <laughs> but the more the game opened and the more areas and the more... There's some things I like about that. Because it was like the game was expanding. I was getting richer. But at the same time, it was losing that cohesion. cohesion. Like if, you, if you think about Resident Evil 1 remake, for example. You have the mansion and the, and the lab and all the areas and the sewers and the tunnels. Not the sewers, the tunnels. And everything, the moment to moment, the pacing is so well. It's, you have all the time something. But in this game, it feels like it's like... You go up, 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 and then there's a, a down. And then you go up again, and there's a down. There's too many... Yeah, everything is, like, dispersed. Too dispersed, in my opinion. And there's a lot of backtracking and blah, blah. But yeah. So, I'm sorry, but I was really enjoying the game, this game. I was going to give it a 7, but I think I'm going to give it a 6. It's just an okay game. Because the negative points drop there a whole point a whole rating in my opinion 
And it's a shame, but if you guys love Resident Evil games, uh, I think you should play this game. It's a very good experience in my opinion. I enjoyed it myself for sure. But those little negative, negative aspects, it took uh, a little bit for sure. But still, recommend it. That was Demonus, uh, and we're gonna continue Spooktober on my Twitch channel. We did Outlast yesterday. We're gonna do Outlast DLC tomorrow. We're gonna do Outlast 2. We're gonna do Amnesia, Alien Isolation, Dead Space. A lot of indie Steam horror games. A lot of retro classics from PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Alone in the Dark. I'm gonna do a lot of horror games, so if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be on Twitch. Quiz or Sevilla, same name as on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good night.